I'm more than two days away from the big day, and it seems like everyone's talking about not the game, but one ad. One. Florida Gator Tim Tebow and his mother Pam telling a story about a troubled pregnancy from some 20 years ago. Now, pro life groups have hailed it as a major breakthrough, and some women's groups say it has no place on national TV. Fair and balanced debate today. Jamie Green's president of the Women's Media Center. Good morning to you. Morning. And Chad Hennings, who's a former Dallas Cowboy and the author of the new book, Rules of Engagement. You out there, Chad? Good morning to you as well. There he is, almost. Bingo. Good morning. Uh, has anyone seen this ad, by the way? Jamie, have you seen it? Chad, have you seen it? No, uh, we have not been allowed to see this ad, and yeah. I think the most important issue uh, we are looking at at the Women's Media Center and with all of our partners who have been engaged in this campaign um, to really talk to CBS and the NFL and the Super Bowl advertisers about this ad is the agenda of the organization behind this ad. Are we crying wolf before we see it, though, Chad? I mean, I haven't seen it. James has not seen it. You haven't. I mean, it's great publicity, by the way, uh, for the game on Sunday night. I mean, should we be offended? I don't see how we can be offended at this point in time. No one has seen the ad. For all we know, it may be a pro-family message where we're celebrating the life of Tim Tebow and from a faith-based perspective on how he has impacted his community. I think it's something that we should embrace and encourage our young people to engage and utilize their platform than for other things than other than well, earning what, a paycheck. What, what Jay Moose is saying is that this has no place on national TV. You, you well, however, have a different view. Why do you think that way? Well, I see this, again, no one has seen the, uh, the ad. For all we know, again, it may be that uh, pro-family message. But, well, Chad, here's you know, the thing. I see here's this the reality. Just as a, that uh, we don't have to see the ad to know the agenda of Focus on the Family. Pam Tebow's choice that she was able to make in the Philippines, can you imagine if the Philippine government had stepped in and told her what she was going to have to do with that pregnancy? Can you imagine if well, her doctor Sorry, told her what she had relevant? to do? Because it was that, her decision. Well, that is the agenda of Focus on the Family. They have a very aggressive agenda to take away a woman's right to choose. We respect Pam Tebow's choice, and we want all women in this country to continue to be able to have that choice Jamie, that is currently... Will you be saying one second, Chair, Jamie, will, will you be offended on Monday morning, or is this all to do about not a whole lot? Well, I, I think that the Super Bowl has always been a, a showcase of overt sexism, and we are going to continue very aggressively, whether it is the Super Bowl or any network that shows sexism and bias towards women in this way. And we have to keep in mind that 40% of Super Bowl viewers are women. Well, the majority I, of Americans in this country believe I, in I a woman's wanted... right to choose and for the government not to intrude in our medical choices. I'm just trying but to... focus on the family <laughs> does not want that for I got women. you. I got you. Please, with respect to time, I need to squeeze in Chad here quickly. I mean, I mean, is it so subtle that we don't even think it's a big deal on Monday, Chad? What is your best guess on that? Well, again, we don't know what the ad is. There, it's a preemptive political strike on the pro-abortion side to downplay this. But again, if you truly celebrate pro-choice, Pam Tebow made a choice. We should celebrate with that. If you want to, I don't believe the. I believe the American people aren't stupid. I believe that if you put out the information out there and you do it in a transparent, authentic format, the okay. American public will be able to make their own decisions. Okay, and we'll find out together on Sunday night, won't we? And then I'm sure everybody will be back on Monday to talk about it, and they'll react then. Jamie, thank you for your time here in thanks. New York. And Chad, thanks to you down in the state of Texas. Thanks to both.